everybody welcome back to another video the tea on mpd and relationships hello everyone listen i have missed you guys i thank you so much for your patience hello to everyone welcome back to all of my new subscribers and new family members hello and welcome to my tribe and family at large fam y'all know what time it is welcome back thank you all so much for coming back and watching another video y'all know i love to always mention our live streams our thursday night live stream sometimes they're thursday saturday sunday this this uh past few weeks has been all over the place right i've been getting ready for my 50th and that is over now so i'm back in the saddle hey y'all hey y'all hey <laughs> so Family, listen, I'd love to see you on that live stream, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Make sure you watch and turn on your alerts so you can see when we are going live. And every time I drop a video on the channel, the goal of the day is 2.1K plus, plus, plus on the likes. Y'all know if you rocks with your girl, hit that like button, hit that like button, hit that like button. Y'all gonna hit that like button. All right, so I'm just checking to make sure y'all are rocking with your girl, okay? Just want to make sure y'all rocking with your girl. All right, y'all, so let's jump into the topic of this video. I want to get right to it, okay? I want to get right to it. I want to talk about um, the narcissist. You know, what? Why? why do they leave? You know, the narcissist is not leaving you for the new supply, you know, they're not leaving you because they're in love with someone else, okay? They're not leaving you because there is a better opportunity, you know? We often say that we do know that a narcissist is, is they're going to leave to go to another supply because they have to have supply. But I want to give you the reality of what's happening, because oftentimes we get caught up in the rumination and not being able to move forward from the relationship because we feel like the narcissist loved or they they admired someone more than us. And it's just simply not true. OK, narcissists don't leave a primary or grade A supply because there's someone else better than you. Narcissists don't leave you because they feel like they can go out and this whatever uh, secondary supply or tertiary is going to replace you. No, you have, we have to understand that this is the mind of an individual that is completely disordered. And when you understand a, you can, and you know, I don't think you can really understand a disordered mind, but when you take into consideration all of the dysfunction and the factors that play into the dysfunction of a narcissist, then you will understand a little bit more of what their craziness looks like. Now, what they do leave you for, okay? And this is what you have to understand about the relationship is that narcissists don't have the ability to go the distance. They don't have the um they don't have the depth inside of them to receive the fullness of who you are okay that's real important okay when you when you look at this thing in totality you have to look at it in the depth of who they are because they're very shallow individuals a lot of y'all gonna testify that you never really could have a serious conversation with the narcissist or every time you started to try to go deep with them they would back you up or they would create some type of humorous situation to kind of throw you off so you would just basically stop okay you would just stop and they do they do this because they understand that they are limited okay and they understand that at some point you're going to want more from them so what they have to do and i'm going to explain to you their strategy okay what they have to do is in or they know in order to keep you okay hanging on it's one thing that they need to do is they need to establish that devaluation stage. They need to do that because they have to get you into the discard and it's not really even a discard. They have to get you into that place where they can shelf you. OK, because what it is, is a shelf is it's a put on the shelf, take off the shelf, put on the shelf, take off the shelf. That's the type of game that they're playing with you. It's not the fact that they're going to 
they're they're going to another supply because they love the supply. They don't leave you for other supply. What they actually do is they leave you for their dysfunction because what they do is they get over there on the other side and they find out that that grass ain't green either. Yeah. Because if they'd have just turned the grass over, they found out that when they got over there, when they turned that grass over, it was brown too on the bottom. If they would have just watered their grass over here, then they probably would have been better off. But this is what this this is how their dysfunctional mind works is that they understand that they're not going to be able to go to distance. They understand that they need to create a situation where they're going to be able to monkey branch back and forth with you and other supplies at any given time. This is their web of deception. OK, and this is why narcissists like creating what we call harems. And these are harems are people are collective that they create of supply that they can just bounce in between at any given time, okay? These are people that don't necessarily know who the narcissist is. They don't necessarily know how that whole disorder works, how it plays out, okay? And so what happens in that is that they're able, if they're able to uh, secure supplies like that, then a narcissist can tip, I mean, they can really bounce from one person to the next, I mean, it could go as quickly as every two weeks. Some of y'all were being discarded or having problems with the narcissist every two to three weeks y'all were breaking up. That's because they had enough people in their collective to be able to do that. But a narcissist, they don't leave you because they're they're so interested in the new supply. They don't leave you. Now, they are going to leave you and go to another supply. OK, they they are going to do that because that's what that dysfunction and that disorder dictates. But a narcissist, they truly leave. They truly leave because they know that they don't have the ability to go the distance. So what they have to do is they have to manipulate situations to cause you to want to, to cause you to want to hang on to them, to cause you to want to say, why, why are we going through this? Why are you, you know, you doing this to me once again? They have to create that type of environment in order to stay in your life because they know that if they were trying to come to you, you know, honestly and upfront that you would realize that they were nothing like you thought they were. You would realize that these people don't have the ability to go the depth and the distance with you. You would realize that they were a complete fake, a total fraud. And in order for them to hide all of that, they got to, they got to, they, they have to be with you and then they got to leave. But they got to always make sure that the door is left open. And the way that they do that is they give you no closure. You see what I'm saying? Because some, it, it's it's a misconception to think that a narcissist is going over to a new supply because they love them. They don't love the new supply. They didn't love you. They don't know. They don't love the new supply either. That the narcissists don't love their children, and they sure enough don't love themselves. So when you understand how that mind, the dynamic works in their mind. Hopefully that'll help you to understand that, listen, you didn't have a fighting chance even if you thought you did. Because this clown, this backwards walking giraffe, they don't have the, they don't have the, they don't possess the ability to go to distance. All they can do is manipulate you. Put you on the shelf, take you off the shelf. Put you on the shelf, make you want them because they didn't get you, give you any closure. Make you uh, make you cry, make you hurt, make you do all of that. Then come back like Captain Save, like, like they the Superman or the Superwoman of your life. Come back and, and save the day because you're hurting so badly because they have done this to you so many times. Yeah, yeah. It's all because they know that they don't have what it takes to stay there, to lock in, and to be able to grind it out and make it work. Narcissists don't have any coping skills, right? No coping skills. They have manipula manipulation skills, but no coping skills. So how is a person that has zero empathy, 
That means, and, and what that basically means is that they don't learn from their mistakes. They don't know how to process natural human emotion. They can only do it from their mind. They don't do it from their heart. And it's only because they've watched other people do it. Okay. It's not because they genuinely have a empathy. They have genuine emotional empathy. No, they watch other people and that's how they learn. But a narcissist truly does not leave you because they're so interested in the new supply. You know, when you really break it down and analyze it, do they leave you for another supply? Yeah. But are they leaving you because they love that other supply? No. No, they're leaving you because they understand that you're going to require more. And in order to keep you in their lives, they got to keep you caught up in their web of deception and manipulation. And this is how you stay day after day, month after month, year after year. It is nothing but a cycle of, de it is nothing but endless cycles of hurt, pain, debauchery, and everything else that they can throw in the, in the ring with that. Don't let them do it to you. Don't let them do it to you. Don't think in your mind that that other person was better than you. Don't think that because it wasn't. It was nowhere near that. It was just that this is how the narcissist is. This is how they have to hold on to supply because they don't have the ability to go to distance. They don't possess what it takes because they're unwilling to be vulnerable and to allow you into their proximity of intimacy. So what they do is they create this game that they play with you. And that's how they go back and forth, back and forth for years and years and years of your life, frustrating you and wasting your time. Mm -mm. You got to put the end behind that. Okay, family. So I wanted to get this out here for y'all. Listen, I want you to take really good care of yourselves. I missed you all. I love you all so much. And I will see you all. Um, I will see you all healed and whole at the top. Shalom, family. Peace.